Hi students, today I want to discuss about the degree of unsaturation, that is DU, or it is also called index of hydrogen deficiency, IHD, index hydrogen deficiency, or double bond equivalent, DBE, double bond equivalent. Generally, most of the cases we are using the DU or somebody it is also called U also it is used that is unsaturation so always many of the books are reprinted degree of unsaturation now how to calculate it is the very simplest I am explaining that how to remember this formula first we know that methane this carbon bonded with the how many hydrogen four hydrogen otherwise any alkane formula CN H2EN plus 2 this is represented like this C H 2 H and H this is I want to represent the methane so this I want to represent like this also that is a formula to derive two carbons plus two see now how many carbon one carbon and total two and this two total four hydrogens then this total this is indicating the maximum number of hydrogen at this carbon okay this is nothing but a hydrocarbon now deficiency how to uh, calculate that is formula for this degree of unsaturation is equal to half of the difference between maximum number of hydrogen this is the maximum number of hydrogen at the hydrocarbon and that another is actual hydrogen so maximum number of hydrogen is 2 into carbon plus 2 minus hydrogen this is actual number of hydrogen this is maximum number of hydrogen as a hydrocarbon if any other formula given in that may be less number of hydrogen that hydrogen these are okay so this is like we have to remember this formula it is not difficult whatever the given hydrocarbon formula minus in the formula what they are giving that hydrogen this is the maximum number of hydrogen this is the actual number of hydrogen by 2 this is a degree of unsaturation formula now for example consider here c6 h10 may be given one formula but keep in mind one degree of unsaturation du is equal to that indicating one unsaturated mean that is one double bond one double bond or one ring okay so now we can calculate for this c6h10 formula how much degree of unsaturation now du is equal to half to two only how many carbons are given six six carbon in the formula two is there minus 10 hydrogen 10 hydrogen so now 2 into 6 12 12 plus 2 14 14 minus 10 that is 4 by 2 then how much will get 2 so this is indicating here 1 double uh, 1 degree of unsaturation 1 bond or 1 ring here 2 degree of unsaturation indicating here maybe 2 double bonds or 1 triple bond 2 degree of unsaturation it may be two double bonds otherwise one triple bond otherwise it may be one double bond and one ring for example according to this formula we can add up this one possible or not just i am trying here total six carbon and one double bond one ring this is one ring anywhere you can place the double bond this one total six carbons hydrogens are 10 here 2 2 2 2 4 into 2 that is 8 and here 1 9 here 1 10 so this is satisfying here otherwise it may be one triple bond one triple bond means six carbon then one two three four five six anywhere you can write one triple bond for even this way i am writing triple bond 
and remaining side is with hydrogen then here CH3 here CH2 here CH2 here CH2 now 3 to 5 5 to 7 7 to 9 this is 10 satisfying next one double bond is we can try this is generally this is a way how to we have to calculate now the question this formula is applicable for all cases or not we have to check now i want to take one formula that is c2h5oh ethyl alcohol for this it is applicable or not now degree of unsaturation for this formula <coughs> that we can write c2h6o like this okay now 1 by 2 2 into carbons are 2 plus 2 hydrogens are given here 6 6 now 2 into 2 4 4 plus 2 that is 6 6 minus 6 that is 0 0 by 2 that is 0 it means no degree of unsaturation so based on that what we concluded here this formula is applicable here otherwise if you write this is CH3 CH2 OH this is we know how to write this formula in this there is no degree of unsaturation that's why this formula applicable for oxygen respectively divalent divalent because oxygen is divalent so what are the in this group element generally in hydro uh, organic chemistry oxygen potassium and sulfur it means oxygen sulfur are there then this formula is applicable now come to the halogen halogens are fluorine chlorine bromine iodine so this formula is applicable or not generally i will take here one formula ch3x actually we know that methane having how many car uh, hydrogen four hydrogen here this is three hydrogen it means if one halogen is there it reduce one hydrogen one hydrogen it reduce any one halogen if it may be uh, fluorine chlorine bromine iodine it reduces one halogen ha reduce one halogen mean here minus h is there then one x we have to put here in this formula du is equal to half of that is 2 into C plus 2 minus H is there. Then along it reduce one hydrogen. That's why we can write here plus X whole bracket. Other way minus right that time remove the bracket. This is the formula when halogen is present. Now <coughs> take one formula uh, C3 H4 Cl4. For this it is applicable or not we can try then du is equal to 1 to 1 by 2 2 into here 3 number of carbons are 3 and here plus sorry plus 2 minus hydrogens are given hydrogens here 4 then here 4 here also given hydrogens are 10 in this formula that's why that I actual number of hydrogen these are these hydrogens are actual number of hydrogen if you want note down this is this is a maximum number of hydrogen at the carbon next plus how many carbons are there sorry chlorines 4 then 4 then this is 2 into 3 6 6 plus 2 8 8 minus 8 by 2 that is 0 by 2 it means there is no degree of unsaturation if you want, I will show you what is the degree of unsaturation for this. Now the formula what they given C3H4Cl4 that we can write now like this. Then CH3, CH4 hydrogens completed, 1 Cl, 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 Cl. That means there is no degree of unsaturation. If nitrogen or any trivalent atom may be present. If trivalent atoms are present, I want to write here CH3, NH2, like this may be present, consider. It means, if methane is there, 4 hydrogen. Now, when nitrogen came, trivalent atom, along with the extra, how many hydrogens came here? 2. It means methane, 4 hydrogen, 3 plus 1, 1 extra is there, when trivalent is there. That's why, when nitrogen, like, maybe nitrogen phosphorus boron aluminum like this trivalent anyone is there they increase the one hydrogen plus hydrogen they are increased one hydrogen they are increasing therefore in the formula du is equal to half of 2 into c plus 2 this is actual number of hydrogen sorry maximum number of hydrogen 
but this nitrogen or this trivalent atoms are increasing one more hydrogen that's why whatever that for example i am writing here nitrogen you can write this any one what they are giving in the formula phosphorus and phosphorus right boron and boron and aluminum aluminum right so they are increasing one hydrogen that's a plus i am writing minus hydrogen plus if halogen also along with this then we can write x if halogen not then no need to write like this this is a formula so now half one formula we can take here so i have one formula that is um, what do you call here uh, i will take one example c5 h8 n2 this is a one example consider for this how much degree of unsaturation now i am taking here 2 into number of carbon that is a 5 plus 2 how many nitrogen 2 nitrogen that's why right here 2 minus actual, actual number of hydrogen 8 halogen nothing is a 0 then now 1 by 2 2 into 5 10 10 plus this is 2 plus 4 then 14 14 minus 8 that is a 6 then this is 3 then degree of unsaturation is 3 like this we can calculate degree of unsaturation of any given compound that's why we have to remember last formula is applicable for all compound what is the last formula degree of unsaturation is equal to half of the 2 into c plus 2 these are the maximum number of hydrogen now trivalent atom that is positive increase the one hydrogen minus actual number of hydrogen plus halogen decrease the one hydrogen that's why this is a formula how to remember this formula we know the maximum number of hydrogen this is nitrogen increase one halogen decrease one and actual number of hydrogen in the given hydrocarbon or organic compound like this if you see any other books also like this formula may be given 1 by 2 2 into c same plus 2 plus plus t and minus m t mean trivalent m mean monovalent what are the monovalent generally all this again comes here because halogen also monovalent hydrogen deuterium tritium that is fluorine chlorine bromine iodine if you come to trivalent that time same what i denoted here nitrogen phosphorus boron aluminium so anyway this is same we have to know that what is the exact concept trivalent increase the one hydrogen monovalent decrease the one hydrogen so based on this is a formula created that is degree of unsaturated